So I have a, a gentleman here. He had um, cataract surgery many years ago. And in his uh, right eye and left eye, he had a light adjustable lens. And what previous surgery did you have, say, 20, 30 years ago in your eyes to correct your vision? I had radiokeratotomy. Okay. Okay. All right. And so when it came down to your cataract surgery, uh, you were told that the light adjustable lens would be the best lens because the results with RK are unpredictable. That's is correct. Right? That's correct. And then what, tell me what happened when you had the light adjustable lens put in your eyes. Did you see well afterwards? I did not see, I did not see as well as they promised I would see. And uh, the, the vision was uh, just, you know, normal. It wasn't great. Got it. And I had to re-enter wearing contact lenses again. Got it. And how many surgeries did you eventually have on your right eye? I had three. Okay. So initially he got the light adjustable lens and then he had the lens adjusted with the light treatments. Yes. And then did that fix your vision? No, it did no. not. It did not fix my vision. And so they recommended that I go in and have what they call a piggyback lens put on top of the other lens. Yeah. So then you had the, the piggyback lens on top of the light adjustable lens. Correct. Yeah. And the vision was horrible and, and all I saw was black, uh, dark brown for four or five days. Wow. And the, then they called me back in for emergency surgery, took that lens out and replaced it with a toric lens. Okay, so they removed both the uh, piggyback lens and the light adjustable lens. Correct. And then replaced it with a toric lens. Correct. And then how did you see with that toric lens? The toric lens, the, the vision is okay, but I'm still wearing contact lenses, and the vision with the contact lens is, is acceptable, yeah. but not, not yeah. what I expected. And the, uh, the reason why I think the light adjustable lens, the piggyback lens, the toric lens, they all do not give you great, satisf great vision, they all do not give you uh, great vision, is because you have something called irregular astigmatism from the RK surgery. And patients with RK surgery, previous RK surgery, they have to know that no matter what lens they get, the vision is not gonna be as good quality as someone who didn't get RK surgery. And so at that time, this lens wasn't available, but there is a new lens available for people who have irregular astigmatism uh, or our previous RK surgery and that can potentially help, de help improve the quality of vision. This is where the lens implant sits in the eye and the RK surgery is done here on the surface. And so no matter what lens implant you put in the eye, if the RK surgery is causing irregular astigmatism, the lens implant cannot fix that. So this lens tries to decrease the scatter of light from uh, the cornea and minimize uh, that uh, hindrance to good quality vision. And even with, even with this lens, it wouldn't be perfect. Even with this, it wouldn't be perfect, but I, I suspect it could be uh, potentially uh, better than what you're experiencing now. Um, but it, this is the reason why we talk, we're talking about this is because there's so much marketing effort in uh, with all these companies that come out with the new lens that Everyone's different. You gotta tailor the treatment to the patient. You should not overpromise. You need to set realistic expectations. And I'm sure if you had more realistic expectations, it would have affected your decision making Absolutely. and you would have potentially been happier with the result. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing. My pleasure.